Oh my goodness, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I am I am shooketh. Hello everybody. My name is Nyan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for you and aspiring software engineers. And today, yo, I don't know if y'all have seen the levels.fyi report. Levels.fyi, simplest way to explain it is like glass door. People go on there to report their salaries, their benefits, and things like that. The thing is though, it's definitely seen as the more credible or accurate resource because they verify all the information, all the salary information they get from actually people uploading documents to support uh, their, what you call it, their, to support what they're saying. And so they recently came out with a 2021 salary report saying which companies pay software engineers the most, saying which cities pay software engineers the most. And oh my goodness, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I am, I am shook it uh, because, okay, when you think of the companies that pay the most for software developers, I'm pretty sure the thing that comes to your mind is Fang. You know, the Facebook, well, now it's Manga, but now it's not even Manga, now it's Mama. Going with the OG Fang, it's Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. But in general, that's typically what we think of, of all the companies that pay the most. And like, oh, you must get into Fang, all the perks, all the benefits, all the cash. And yet, this report, there's only one thing company in the like top five companies that paid software engineers the best, at least entry, because this is focused on entry level, on entry level software engineers the best. And I'm like, where, where did the rest go? Yeah, let's just go right into it. So starting with number five. Netflix. Netflix is reported to pay entry level software engineers about $226,000 of total compensation, at least for their first year. Now, all broken down, this comes out to $217,000 of the base pay plus $35,000 worth of stock and a $20,000 bonus. But the base, like, brought, and that's, keep in mind, this is number five. Like, can you imagine number one? But anyway, now I'm sure I don't need to go into that much about what Netflix is, you know, the streaming company. They're based in California, and oh my goodness, when I looked at their benefits, I, the, they were, I think, my favorite in terms of the benefits they gave their developers. So their benefits include, but are not limited to, free breakfast and lunch every single day, a 200% match in donations. And so if you donate to some cause, some charity, they will match 200%. So you donate 5,000, they'll donate 10. And this is up to $20,000, but that itself blew my mind. They also have unlimited PTO and they have maternity and paternity leave of one year. One year paid, paid my job. And they also have a transportation allowance with Uber and Lyft fully covered. I don't know if that's to go to the office only and come home or if it's also like I'm trying to go to the club and <laughs> need this lift. So I don't know about that. If you work at Netflix, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I really, really loved just those benefits. And this is really interesting because Netflix for the longest time only hired senior engineers and up, but recently they started hiring more new graduates. And so this is the comp and everything for new graduates. And so yeah, keep them on your your mind. Number four, Stripe. Now broken down, their compensation comes to a $132,000 base with a $75,000 in stock and then $27,000 of bonus. So for those of you who may not know, Stripe is an Irish American financial service software company. And so if you've ever tried or if you currently run your own business and whatnot, you likely have heard of Stripe because they make it super easy and simple. I feel like I'm in an ad. <laughs> They make it super easy and simple to engage in transactions with like, to me, not like that huge of a fee. Um, cause I use Stripe as well. And I really love, I, I personally love them. I love their dashboard. I love the way they go about displaying information and just making it so easy to get paid as an entrepreneur. So I really like Stripe and their benefits were also a big favorite of mine. For some reason, I don't know why the idea of maternity and paternity, why that's so important to me for 
right where I am right now but I have been like straight up just like a quick little tangent straight up in uh like college and when I'd interview for companies and everything I would bring up those subjects like hey I see that your paternity it's like it's not a given it's like they have to request it and maybe they'll like, get denied and then maternity is only like eight weeks like what's up with that like I'm a person who have I've always cared about that from just a right and wrong standpoint. You know what I mean? Like there's just certain things that I feel like are right and are wrong. And even though it doesn't apply to me right now or ever, I care about it. So yes, all to say their paternity and maternity leave is pretty good as well. Theirs is 16 weeks, maternity and paternity. So I do like that it's the same for both because that's another thing I don't like when there's one and not the other, but we'll get into it. On top of that, they offer free breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this was like huge to me, $250 worth of allowance for fitness, gym, and just wellness initiatives. They also offer free therapy for up to 20 sessions, which huge 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 like yes please like that's amazing and i love that they do that i don't know if it's how it's divided up if it's 20 and that's it if it's 20 a year 20 quarterly i don't know but the fact that it's there in 20 is a good amount like that's one almost every two weeks if you do the whole year that's pretty good to me and so i love that they offer that they have a 4.0 rating and looking at their job listings and whatnot they have a nice amount of listings available right now i haven't seen listings for new developers all of them seems to be more like two plus three plus years but come the late summer fall you can definitely see more of that roll out and so keep in keep that in mind Third on the list, we have Roblox. Now, Roblox is an online gaming platform that allows users to program games and also play games developed by other users, which is really, really cool. And they pay their new developers $233,000 of total compensation for at least like year one. It comes out to $144,000 of base, $60,000 of stock, and $24,000 of bonus pay. Like Netflix and Stripe, they also offer free lunch but something different is they offer unlimited pto now here's the thing unlimited pto is something that is very much like good or bad depending on the company you work for i don't know how roblox does it so i'm not, i please know what i'm about to say about unlimited pto it has nothing to do with them it's just considerations to make the thing is with unlimited pto i don't want to name the company um it's this is pretty much the biggest company you know you'll i've said it like three times already in this video they from my understanding used to offer unlimited pto but then they ended up taking it back and offering like a finite amount and the reason for that was because when they started offering unlimited pto they saw that less people took it which makes so much sense to me like me personally i would be less inclined to take it if i know that something is about to run out and i have 21 days use it or lose it i will use all 21 days i'll use all 80 days whatever number you give me i will use all of them i will, I will use them <laughs> oh shoot i don't want to get demonetized but yeah i'll say i will use them if it's unlimited i don't know what it is now i wouldn't use them as much because i feel it's like oh well now is choosing to do x y and z when before it wasn't my choice before it was like yo like they're telling me i need to take the days off so goodbye i'm going to a room. but now it's like okay goodbye i don't know so that's my thing on unlimited pto but that being said it has a lot to do with the culture of the company the culture of the company it's their responsibility to make sure that you know that it is okay and welcomed to take time off and so i hope roblox is one of those companies if you ever interview for them or any other company that offers unlimited pto make sure you talk about that and you get clear on their stance on that not from the managers and whatnot but talk try to talk to the people who are actually working uh like who your co-workers would be so yeah that's a quick side bit on unlimited pto but yes they offer it they also offer laundry and gym on site which is i believe this is what netflix and stripe also offered but of all their benefits i that was like the least exciting one so i didn't mention it they have a 4.3 rating on glassdoor and it looks like 88 percent according to the surveys i saw and whatnot 88 percent of people do recommend working there so that's definitely something to keep in mind i didn't see any entry-level jobs 
out right now to apply to but again that's another one to keep on your list and as the months roll by and whatnot then really make sure you have those alerts on second to last we have bots bots offers total compensation of two hundred and thirty six thousand dollars zolas with fifty four thousand being stock compensation and then five thousand dollars being the bonus boss is a california-based company that offers cloud-based content management their focus is really providing collaboration and file sharing tools for companies and so not anything like glitz and glam in my opinion but shoot for 236 dollars i might they have a 4.5 rating on Glassdoor and 92% of workers recommend working there. And so that's not a small number. And at the end of the day, I want to like where I work. I want to be in a place where people are happy to be in because it's a job and it's just, it's just a job. Um, it's a job that's affording me a certain lifestyle, but if I'm sad, crying on my way to work, I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, and really in terms of their benefits, there wasn't too much listed. I don't know if it's because they don't offer anything flashy or if it's simply because they just don't advertise it. But really the biggest thing I saw, which is still kind of iffy, is they offer remote work, but I don't know if that's a hundred percent of the time forever now or if it's just right now or if it's gonna turn into hybrid or whatnot. But yeah, in terms of benefits and just perks i couldn't find too much there but i mean the cash i'll buy my own gym membership with two hundred thirty six thousand dollars so and then last but certainly certainly not least we have two sigma that was the company levels fyi said was the best paying company to entry-level software engineers at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a hundred fifty nine thousand of that being the base pay and eighty thousand of that being the bonus so two sigma all in all is a new york city based hedge fund company that uses things like ai and machine learning and distributed computing to figure out the best trading strategies and so this is something that would for sure be very algorithmically heavy algorithmically heavy sure we'll go with it and so if that's something you're not too confident in and do like really just like don't like in general then this may not be the company for you but if that sounds like the move for you then let me keep on going they offered pretty much the standard type of benefits like standard in the tech world with 20 days pto on-site laundry transportation stipends but the biggest thing that like stood out to me was their twenty thousand dollar relocation stipend keep in mind i don't know if this is validated i don't know if this relocation stipend is for straight up anybody who moves from somewhere else wanting to move to that city or if it's based on a calculation of some sort like is it twenty thousand dollars cash or is it i don't know but that is something that made my ears work up a little bit because moving is not fun but for twenty thousand dollars it will be it, it can be i can i can figure it out they currently have a glass door rating of 4.5 and so like all of these ratings are out of five and all of these companies have been four and above so definitely not something to like laugh at or to overlook in terms of open positions i did find like one position open for new grads but i'm not sure if it's still open because it was like via like a third party site and i couldn't find it on their site on their site they do have many full stack and just other engineering positions for people with two plus years experience and so there we go y'all like oof my gosh this is what like a hundred and forty did i say a hundred i meant a million like a million plus like a million two hundred thousand dollars worth of compensation in this list of five companies like oh my goodness for one year like oh my goodness but yes there we go after talking about all of this which companies are you leaning towards like which one would you want i'll tell you mine if you tell me yours i'll tell you mine in the comments below so check those out but yes there we go this was fun y'all i'll see you next week bye y'all